I want in this video to make a dedicated session of prayers and exhortation for people to join. Uh, it, it will probably be live. It will be a live session and uh, we can all pray together. I will lead the prayers and uh, have a little bit of a talk or exhortation at the beginning and, and then uh, praying against uh, the things, the evil things that might be happening at the time um, or for the things that we want to happen. Uh, but I want to know first, before I actually start doing that, before I actually allocate a time and a slot for that to basically dedicate all of us, uh, dedicate our time for prayers and intercession and uh, petition uh, and supplication to the Lord, uh, I want to know uh, if there are people who are interested in this move. If, if you're not, then uh, there's no point in me sitting here wasting uh, my energy and my uh, electrics and lightings and everything else to do this. I can just pray on my own if, if that's the case. But if there are a lot of people who would like to join and who believe in this cause, they would like to join and pray, then I would like to know, first of all, if you could, please put in the comment where you're from uh, and what time or day is suitable for you. So I will take a little bit of a uh, kind of census and find out uh, what's the common day or hour that best suits the majority of people so I can make an allocated time to uh, start these series of uh, exhortation slash uh, prayer sessions with you. So if you will please uh, put in the comment if you are first of all interested in that then we can do this. Uh, if there isn't many people interested then I'm afraid I'll have to just go solo and pray on my own but I would like to have as many people as possible to join in this and let this become a move a campaign that um, can move mountains because that is what that is the only weapon we have the weapon we have is the Word of God which is sharper than any double-edged sword so we have to use that what is the point of having a double-edged sword just in your pocket and not ever use it? What is the point of that? What is the point of knowing all the Bible back to the front but not ever using the principles of the Bible? What is the point of that? Just, just answer me that out of curiosity. If you are a Christian, or if you are a child of God, if you claim or believe that you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are following the leading of the Holy Spirit, but you never actually uh, do anything in your workplace, in your circle of friends and family, you don't stand for the Lord. You don't stand on your ground, on your own principles, the principles of the Bible, the Lord, the laws of the Lord, the laws of God, then what is the point of that? There is no point. There is no point. So I want, this, this is a challenge. It's a little bit of a sacrifice for me and I want you also to do a bit of a sacrifice. Put aside some time, dedicate yourself Commit yourself, dedicate that time, commit yourself to this. Because the world is changing and if we don't stand against it, it is going to be against us and against the Lord. We'll talk about all these things in other sessions. I know lots of people are, you know, in, in that belief that, uh, well, let the whole world go uh, haywire and just go upside down so Messiah can come. You know, how ridiculous is that? And what is the point of you there? 
God has had a mission for you before your conception, before you were even conceived. God knew you by name. He knew you by name and he predestined you. And he had a plan for you. Still has a plan for you. No matter how old you are, how young you are, where you are, you're a man or you're a woman. And I don't like these ideas of gays and lesbians. I, I, I totally go against that. I don't care what they do with my video. It is against the word of God and I stand against that. Whatever is against the word of God, I stand against it. Even if I'm the last person on earth to stand against it, I stand against it. I don't care if it costs me my, uh, my job, my business, my YouTube channel. It doesn't matter because I've done that and I still do it and I will do that to the last drop of my blood. If that's what it takes. We have the word of God which is sharper than any double-edged sword. We have the word of God. The word of God that is only in your head, not in your heart, is worthless. The word of God that is in your head and not in your actions is worthless. Put it into actions. Look how the evil are using the biblical principles to advance their own evil kingdom. And yet we, as children of God, fail to use the basic principles of the Bible to advance the kingdom of God. Anyway, I close my case here. I ask you kindly, please think about this. Commit yourself to a certain time prayer. If you can't join me, because I have to pick a time by what I see is most common from the people that are commenting in the video, under the video. So I have to pick a day and time that is most common uh, or most suitable for the majority of people. And if I pick a time that is not suitable for you, I would still want you to see the video replayed and because uh, it will be on the uh, channel or the website. I want you to do it in your own time. Make a dedicated time. Don't just watch me. Follow the prayers. Listen to what I say. Take to heart. Ponder on them. Ponder and meditate on the word of God. And pray. We need as much prayer and as many prayer warriors as possible. May God bless you. Till next time. Goodbye.